So whatever happened to Lucas, anyway? I mean, we never fought him. Or, actually, no, wait, we did. Was, it, was that big thing him? That big mutated thing with eyes? February 18th, 1892. Whoa. There was a collapse in the Patterson mine. Uh, Tuan and Beckford are dead, and Huxley will never walk on his own again. Old man Stan was right. The ground there is too unstable. February 19th, 1892. The company is not going to send us any replacements. They want us to work double shifts instead. I can't wait to get back to the old country. Huh. So I just picked up... What did I just pick up? Enhanced handgun ammo. What is so this is a helicopter, but uh, some shenanigans had to be going on here because 1892 there were no helicopters in 1892. At least not that I'm aware of. Alpha One, this is Bravo One. Do you read? This is Alpha One. Report. Did you find anything? A thorough search of the Baker property revealed zero survivors. Repeat, zero survivors. We did find evidence of a skirmish. Evelyn? Negative. However, we did find several encrypted messages from the Baker's son, Lucas, to an unknown third party. You can probably guess who that was. That's just great. We've had reports using the abandoned mine south of the property. I'm gonna go have a look. Roger that. We'll meet you at those coordinates. If you encounter Evelyn, orders are shoot to kill. Repeat. Shoot to kill. Alright. Well... Ooh, ho, ho. all right. So you've taken me as things. So this is all—is this all my shit? Like all grenade, grenade launcher, and all, baby. All right, all right. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. So we're gonna need to keep that. They're preparing us for a battle. All right. So first things first, grenade launcher, just in case, and all the flame rounds. Um, let's see, P19, all the ammo for it, remote bombs, maybe, right, maybe, hmm? alright, now let's get, uh, I'm gonna take all the machine gun ammo I can grab, now let's take all of my health that I can get. Uh, where is it? Herb, burner. Ah, first aid. Okay, so I got all those. All those. That should be plenty health, I would, I would think. I would hope. Um, I got some. So where's my pump shotgun? There it is. And I have all these shotgun shells. So I got... Grenade launcher, machine gun, shotgun. <clears throat> I th think I should be all right. I'll take this health just in case. Um, can't really take any other weapons. So how about maybe I should make some more flame rounds. I believe that requires strong I don't want the knife strong chem fluid and uh, what was that other shit ah so I imagine that should be enough imagine. I got 12 antique coins. So that's uh, that's the magnum. That is stabilizer. So these are the same things from the, the trailer. Huh. So I don't really feel like I need the magnum. I guess I could get what is it? The stabilizer, which is five. So I guess I could do that.
Thank you. All right, so I have seven coins left. Alright, I feel like I'm pretty well stocked here, so I should be able to hopefully take down whatever comes my way. Let's make sure it's all reloaded. It is. Let's rock the shotgun for now. care. <laughs> Don't give a fuck. I'll take that. It might be possible I shouldn't have taken so much stuff with me, but oh god. Nope, I definitely should have. Domed. Kurt Cobain. Reloading, because you never know when that second shot's going to come in handy. Aha, uh -huh, I knew I heard another one. I'm already full. Shotgun shells. Can't take that. But I don't entirely need it either. I uh, did say something about mines. Son of a bitch. Turn on your light! Okay, invisible wall. Hello there. Oh, Jesus. Almost fucking missed that. Burner fuel. I'm not carrying that anyway. What's up, buddy? I didn't even need to shoot those guys. I could have just lured them into the uh, the traps or whatever.
How many of those I got? 16? Sweet. Oh, that's magnum ammo. In past Resident Evil games, the magnum... Should I aim that first shot better? Back spawned me. Thank God for headphones. Seems kind of like a dick thing to do this late in the game. It's kind of... You know, thinking back on it, I probably could have lured those guys out and pushed the cart to hit them. Possibly. Well, it's a good thing I'm really good at thinking ahead. A lot of good hindsight does you, huh? One thing I will say, it does seem like this game is using a lot of, like, cliched environments. And, except for, like, the beginning portion of the game, or at least up to the Lucas part, I see that bobblehead, up to the Lucas part, um, everything seems to be, like, environments that have been, oh, hiccup, environments that have been in Resident Evil before. Like, there, you went into a mine area in Resident Evil 5. And then you, there's ship-like, ooh, ho, ho, ho. There are, you know, like a ship, like, where, oh, trickery. Son of a bitch. There were ship-like environments in a... I keep saying ship-like environments. You were on a ship in Resident Evil Revelations. What the hell happened in here? Alright, I gotta change my sitting position slightly. Uh, sent Friday, January 16th, 2015 at 12.42 a.m. Uh, thanks to you guys, it's been about a week since my head's been clear and back to normal, and she still thinks she's got me. You guys really need to work on fixing that. Not only does she look like a little kid, but she's about as stupid as one, too. Ooh. Mom and Dad are still totally under, though. I was wondering, is this whole family obsession something you guys programmed into her? It's kind of fucked up. Uh, sent Friday, November 4th. 2015 to 10 a.m. That bitch Mia is still somewhere in between Evie La La Land and reality. She gets pretty violent, so I locked her up in a cell. So, or I thought maybe Evelyn would get mad since Mia is her favorite and all, but she doesn't seem to care. She actually goes and visits her sometimes. She thinks Mia is her mommy. Like I said, your bioweapon is fucked up. What in the hell? Uh, September 1st, 2016. So, what is that, like a year? No. Well, it's almost a year later. Uh, Eveline's family obsession is getting out of hand. She's making everyone kidnap more and more assholes off the street to add to her freak show of a family. Maybe she's getting tired of me and not coming around, but it's a pain in the ass for me because I gotta clean up the mess whenever someone new comes along. By the way, Evie's looking sick or something. Her skin is getting all wrinkly, and she's getting gray hairs. Is that supposed to happen? It's almost like she's getting old all of a sudden. 
Well, that's interesting. What the hell's going on in this game? Taking a look around. What do we got here? Infection report. Let's see. Uh, this report details the symptoms that appear when the bacterium that grows inside the of the E series infects a human. Uh, be sure to read this document thoroughly before dealing with E series weaponized assets, hereafter referred to as mold. Okay. Uh, initial infection. The mold ingests nutrients from the subject's body to propagate itself and slowly takes over cells within the body. As a side effect of this, the infected subject gains remarkable regenerative abilities. Okay. During experiments, we removed arms and legs from test subjects and found that they were able to coapt the amputated limbs in a matter of minutes. That's interesting. The way they... The, uh, the virus in this game is a lot more interesting than, like, previous Resident Evil games have been, I think. Uh, Mid-stage infection... Once the mold reaches the brain, the subject's thoughts become in tune with those of the E-series asset. <clears throat> the subject starts to hear things and experience hallucinations, and soon comes under complete control of the E-series asset. Uh, if this state continues, the host will lose all sense of ego. Complete infection. After every cell in the body has been taken over by the mold, the subject begins to lose their human form. Physical mutations differ from case to case, but all result in human or her... Or, or, damn it, but all result in him or her acquiring incredible physical strength. Containing a subject at this stage would be extremely difficult. Okay, so that kind of explains things a, a bit more. Ten minutes, ah, wait. Ten minutes after dose, death. Toxin series dosage, dosage test. Five minutes after dose, vomiting. Twelve minutes after dose, cell calcification. Huh. E necrotoxin destroys cells of any subject based on the E series bioweapon model. Use only for disposal of E series assets. The toxin must first be stimulated before use. Do this by placing a sample of an E series cell cells into the necrotoxin container. Okay, so I'm guessing that would mean this. Interesting. Oh my god, there's seven pages. Is there anything on the back? Alright, well I'm going to read all this to you guys. I'm, I'm sure you guys don't... may or may not want to hear this. You can skip along in the video, but... Uh, this is pretty important to the story, and this game hasn't had any real cutscenes to really tell the story, so I'm actually going to read these. In a lot of games I tend to read them in editing and just let you guys pause the video and read them if you want, but I'm actually going to read them here because I actually find this pretty interesting. Uh, so, this project was instigated in 2000 as one of several concepts for the company's Nexbis, Next Generation Experimental Battlefield Superiority Initiative, working with technical assistance from HCF to develop a bioweapon for neutralizing combatants and mass with, or NMOS with minimal direct contact. Nexbis was later folded and all its assets diverted to this project. What makes this project remarkably different from conventional weapons is its ability to turn enemy combatants into allies, converting hostile elements into willing servants. Since this effectively eliminates the cost of not only POW handling, but also combat itself, the fuck was that sound? It's no wonder we had the blank and even blanks blank organization chopping at the bit to get on board. Huh. The project would never have existed were it not for the discovery and blank of blank uh, the remarkably progressed vicariant evolution fungus that we commonly term the 
What it? What? Mutamycete? Whatever. Uh, the fabrication method for each bioweapon was was to introduce the mutamycete, whatever, genome to pre-stage 4 human embryo uh, and perform cultivation in the controlled environment over a period of 38 to 40 weeks. Uh, the consultant organ, the, the resultant organisms were referred to as candidate specimens and graded based on usability from the impractical and faulty series A through D uh, to the perfect, perfected E series. Uh, a common appearance was selected for the bioweapons, that of a roughly 10 year old girl to ensure ease of blending in with urban refugee populations. The first E-series specimen named Eveline uh, has proven capable of secreting the mutamycet blank from her tissue at will. It is also of note that Eveline's mutamycet imposes a profound control over body and mind when introduced into a host organism. We still have a lot to learn about the mechanism by which Evelyn achieves and maintains this control, but the working theory is that the vector is similar to the auto-inducer pheromones used for quorum sensing in pseudomonos, pseudomonos bacteria. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Um, Evelyn's control is exerted in a series of discrete stages, the first of which is hallucination. Almost immediately after infection, the subject begins to see images of Evelyn, though she is not in fact there and even hear her voice, which is inaudible to anyone else. Auditions with infected subjects throughout the stages of infection reveal that at first, the phantom Evelyn appears to be a normal young girl, sometimes desiring companionship or assistance. As time progresses, she begins making more and more extreme demands, including self-mutilation and attacks on other people. Okay. The psychological shock this induces helps to break down the mind's natural barriers to Evelyn's brainwashing effect, and by the time mental control is achieved, the mutamycet infection has progressed through the body's cells, so the body blank. Okay. That's interesting. I wish there was, I wish there was more of that. Like, this shit's fucking interesting, and I like reading it. Wish came true. Evelyn's functions also include the ability to form organisms from mycelia, the fungal filaments. The oh god, I had to swallow. Uh, the term organism is used loosely here. Strictly speaking, they are super organisms formed of countless mycelia. What's important, though, is that they exhibit a strong survival instinct and will defend themselves ferociously with the slightest provoca provocation. Their fungal toughness and remarkable strength give them significant battlefield potential. The researchers have been calling these superorganisms the molded, made of mold, and also molded as in shaped. The name has a certain elegance to it. I mean, elegance or kind of simple, whatever. Simple and elegance mean the same thing. For the treatment of accidental infections performing blank on samples of Evelyn's body tissue produces a unique, oh my god, fungicidal serum? Admi administering the serum to an infected subject will cause the mycelia to calcify, but if the subject's cells are already largely invaded, the serum will be fatal. Since the treatment window is so small, the serum's primary use is therefore disposal of infected subjects rather than a cure. In exploring the serum's potential, we found that subjecting it to blank would enhance its effects to extreme potency, become becoming a compound we now call e-necrotoxin, which blank in even tiny amounts. What's been interesting to observe in Evelyn's behavior is her obsession with the concept of family. In experiments, we found on multiple occasions that infected subjects were compelled to act as her mother or father, treating her as if she were really their daughter. Why did she settle upon family as the theme for her mental control? This is just speculation, but it could be that she instinctively understands that a family unit is better suited to blending into social groups than a lone girl. On the other hand, well, a sentimental sort might suggest that she's making up for a perceived lack of love in her quarantined upbringing. A parent's love. Man, I'm liking reading this stuff. 
Reading can be fun, kids. Now we're in a save room. What do we got here? Flame rounds? Hey, they gave me some. Sweet. Alright. Anything in here I can move over? Let's see. Move that over. I think we're good. Let's save. This has been a pretty interesting the way the story is going here. Enhanced handgun ammo, I don't need that, but I'll take it. All right. Back down we go. So we got the serum. Let's get out the shotgun. So we got the serum to effectively take care of Evelyn. Hold on, hold on. I'm hearing a kid singing. Very faint. Getting a little louder. Well, it did stop. Uh oh. She's done shaking the place. Huh. Hey, Mr. Nub. I hear. Thought I heard, might have heard walking, but. Sometimes it's hard to tell. It's a lot of gooey stuff. <laughs> I really hope she doesn't backspawn me here. That one's still alive. Hey! Fuck you, how's that? You dead? doesn't seem to be back spawning me here so that is nice how's that oh that might have been her nerve or something um oh yes thank you shotgun is actually being really helpful right now so any shotgun shells I can get We'll take. I'm just a little gun shy now. About shit spawning behind me.
thought I heard steps, so I think it's that chirping. Man, it seems like they really want you to use a shotgun on this part. I mean, I can see why. The shotgun is... I'm loving the shotgun right now. longer to get out of here. I'm not liking these mines. If there's things I don't like, it's especially in horror games, because it's kind of played out and just kind of annoying. It's like mines and sewer levels. Screw that crap. Doesn't look like I'm getting out of here just yet. Hell, I may not be getting out of here at all. For all I freaking know. Oh. Oh. Oh, 